Hi class, quickly I'm going to show you how to use Google Fonts with your custom CSS on WordPress. You want to go to google.com slash fonts and find a font that you want to use on your website. I'm going to choose one that is really obviously different from what's on the site just so that you can see the change. I actually really hate lobster, but I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to click add to my collection and then I'm going to click review and it's going to kind of show me that there's you know what it looks like in different sizes so I can get an idea of, of the legibility of these things and then I'm going to click use and I'll have different weights that I can choose this one only has one so I'm gonna go with that and I have some instructions here so I have to add this code to your website so I'm gonna copy this and it says right here to copy it and put it as the first element in the head tag so I'm gonna go into my dashboard Go to appearance editor and i'm going to find the header.php there it is and i'm going to find that open head tag there it is right there and i'm going to paste this as the first thing just as i was instructed i'm going to click update file so this is linking google fonts with my style sheet so now whenever i use the uh, name lobster in my font family um, property i can um, my website's going to pull that font from Google. So this is just an example of how to use it, lobster or cursive. So this is lobster. If lobster for some reason can't display, then we're going to show cursive. So let's go ahead and find some element to apply this style to. How about up here? Inspect the element. My guess is that there's just kind of a body font for all of these. So yeah, I don't see any specific header one. Now if I want to apply it to just header one, I can sort of type in font family lobster, let's forget, is it comma first? No, comma second. So font family There we go. That looks terrible, but we're going to go with it because I just want to show you how to do this. So I'm going to come in to add custom CSS and paste it in. And now all of my H1s will be in lobster. Excellent. And uh, nothing else. Actually, these are H1s. These will be in lobster. So I'm going to come in and sort of change what I want to change, not change what I don't want to change. If I don't want to change these, I can inspect that element and see um, you know, what's going on here. For the widget title, I could put that back to what it was before, which was Lotto. There we go. And then I can paste that into my custom CSS. The order here with the custom CSS doesn't matter. And now Lobster is only applied to the H1s outside of that bar. So that's how you're going to use Google Fonts.